Hi there, Blaze here and in today's tutorial I'm gonna show you how to implement loading screen in your Godot 4 project. This is my small project where I implemented splash screen and it just show the animation of my logo and the Godot logo. And then I want to switch to the main menu, which is really a big scene because it have many 8K images and some sub scenes. This is a sub scene, sub scene have also some images. So when I click play, the splash screen is loaded and then I want to switch to the main menu. But because this scene is large, this will take a while. I will show you. I will create a new script in the splash screen and here I'm gonna create a new function load next scene and this will just load the mind mini so I will write get tree change scene to packed resource loader load tree.get and here I will specify the path to the scene I want to load so the mind mini.tscn Save this and here in splash animation I will create a new track and from the splash screen I'm going to call the load new scene, load next scene, sorry, in the fourth second for example. I also need to call a request first, so let's go with resource loader that load tree the request and here I will specify the path. Okay, let's save this and run. And as you can see the scene loaded, but this take a while, so I want to display nice progress bar to the player so the player can see that the game is loading and that the game is not freezed. Okay, so let's close this and let's create a new node. This can be user interface and let's save it as a loading screen. Now I will open the loading screen in the 2D and I will add a progress bar and background. So let's add a color rect and I will fit the entire screen of this and let's set it to the nice green color and let's add the progress bar and I will fit it in the center of the screen for the entire width and we can make it a little bit higher so we will better see the progress. Okay, so we have our progress bar. Let's move it outside the color rect and let's name this node as the loading screen and I want to attach the script for it. So let's create a new script. Let's name it loading screen.gd create. Okay, so we have our loading screen and let's create a new script now. So click in the file system, new script. Let's call it scene loader create. Now we need to go to the project, project settings, switch to auto load and we need to write the path to the script we created. So it will be scene loader.gd and let's name it as scene loader, add this and close the window. Now we will be able to access this scene loader from other scripts because we will be loaded on the every node we use. Okay, so let's open newly created script. We need to extend node. That's correct. Let's remove this and we will create some variables here. Let's start with onready var loading screen scene and let's preload the loading screen tscn. This will load this uh, screen to the memory to this variable when the script will be ready so we will be able to use this loading screen when we need it. Okay and we will also need some helper variables like path to the scene we want to load, instance of the loading screen scene and just a single bool value loading now we will create a function which we will call from the outside this script to load the scene. So let's go with function load scene and we need to specify the path to the scene. So let's go with path. Okay, what we need to do now is get the current scene with get tree current scene. This will return a scene which is currently loaded. Now we want to add to the root of the hierarchy a scene which will be used as a loading screen. So first we need to create an instance and we will use our loading screen scene instance variable here and assign the instance of the loading screen scene. We need to instantiate it and now we need to add it as a child. So we will use the call deferred add child. Okay, so we have our loading screen loaded to the root of the scene, so we will be able to display it. Now we need to load the scene we actually want to load. There is also one optimization we can use. We can check if resource loader have this scene cached, so we will be able to load this scene without any delays. So let's start with if statement, if resource loader that has cached, and we need to specify path here, the path from the argument, so we just path. And if this is true, we will load the tree that get with resource loader. And we need to specify the path again. Okay, but this is a good option. We also need to implement worst option that we want to load the scene because we don't have anything cached. So let's use else. And now we want to send a request to load this resource. So we will use resource loader again. 
but now we will go with load treated request and we need to write a path here. We can also specify if we want to load this with multiple cores, but I will use single core because I want to keep this simple. Okay, we also need to unload the old scene so the old scene will no interrupt with our loading screen. So we will use the current scene we get here here and we need to free the queue. This will just unload the old scene and we will also need to set loading for true and the path from our global variable this path sync to load path with path from the argument and we need to do this because now i will create a new function and this will be process function which will check if loading is true and if yes we will want to display the progress on the progress bar and if no loading is done we will just want to break this loop so we will use if not loading return and this will guarantee that if loading is set to false nothing will be executed after this line okay but if we are loading, we will use this part of the function. So we want to check the status of the loading and also a progress. Let's start with creating new variable status and we will ask resource loader for the status of loading. We will use resource loader that load treated get status and we need to specify the path. And this is the reason why I saved the path to the sync load path variable. I can now use it. And I also want to check the progress and the progress is just an array, array of one element. And this one element tells us how many resources are loaded. This will just return the number between zero and one. So we will write this to the new variable progress. Let's assign the array to this just write progress here. Now we want to check the status. So if status is resource loader that treat load in progress, we need to get the progress bar. So we can get the progress bar with the dollar sign, for example, or you can use a get node, whatever you want. Let's get progress bar and set its value to the first element of the progress, but let's multiply this with 100. So this will return value between zero and 100, not between zero and one. Then we need to check if the status is resource loader that treat load loaded. And if this happens, we want to change the actually displayed scene to the scene we already loaded. So let's use the get tree and change scene to packed and let's use the loaded tree to get from resource loader. And of course, we need to specify the path again. After that, we can remove the loading screen. So loading screen scene instance and queue free, just like we do earlier with the current scene. Then we can switch loading to the false and that actually all. But I want to write the else here because we want to handle some errors. So we can just print the statement that something is wrong. Okay, let's save this. And now let's go to the splash screen. We want to load the mine menu.tscn, so I will copy this path. We can remove this code here and we will call the scene loader. This is because we added this scene loader to the auto load because now we can use a scene loader that loads scene and we need to specify the path. Let's save this. Okay, there is actually one error because I cannot get the progress bar. And this is because uh, we load multiple scenes at the same time. So we need to use more a secured option we need to assign this progress bar to the variable and we will get it with the instance of the loading screen so loading screen scene instance that get node and we search to the progress bar and we will use the variable progress bar here okay now we can run the scene again after saving this is the splash screen and now you can see the progress bar is loading and our scene is loaded now okay so this was the really simple tutorial for creating progress bar in godot i hope it will help you let me know if you want to see more tutorials from Godot. If you like the video, hit the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. See you soon. Bye.